Uitzet! Uitzet! I'm Peter Spruit, Peter Spruit from Nemo. I'm from Holland and we have founded here 12 years ago Nemo Land. It's a, a center for ecological uh, development, sustainable development by ecotourism, but also by a new all kind of projects to, uh, for the environment. Uh, we're getting uh, students who do workshops here and work weeks. They work in the nature, they protect, they're making footpaths, uh, but they also have school exchange with Polish local schools. Uh, so, And this week the whole item of this uranium mine came up and we managed to organize a protest demonstration against plans for uranium mines. So we managed to, to with the local village organization to set up a protest meeting in front of the the, the Kmina, the, the, uh, the building of the government, and it was really successful. It was a protest, international protest meeting uh, from people all around the world, but also many people from Stade Kamenica, and we were very happy to do that. We are here in the most beautiful part of Poland, I think. If you look around, it's a tremendous, in, 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 in interesting landscape. It's, it's for centuries old. It is between the forests and the mountains and a an, an, an medieval agrarian landscape. And, and especially here, we are living between two threats, two mining threats. If you see now this, this whole mountain, it's bogged by Polskal. It's a Polish company who want to dig out the whole hill, the whole mountain, to find uh, minerals, uh, leucocrinite, but we think they're also searching for uranium, but it's also there. And uh, further on uh, to Kopaniec, uh, we heard last week that a company, European Resources, originally Australian company, bought, want to, to start their uranium mines, but we think those two mines, those two companies are linked to each other because they both searching, we think, for this combination of skalen, of, of uh, minerals and uranium. So it's, uh, this is really a threatened landscape and, uh, and the local citizens are very well aware of that. The, the, the protest is massive. All the people signing, uh, giving their signatures and, and, and we as a Dutch organization want to support it, not that we are introducing the protest here. No, they do it, but we can help them. We can uh, support them and, uh, because it's, it's a European problem. It's not because we think we're going to help the Polish in, in the country. It's, we think it's, it, this is the center of Europe. It's, it's, and it's a European problem, this Euro uranium mine. So we, uh, all, of, all Europeans should feel responsible for these plants. U uranium is, of course, the resources for uh, for nuclear plants, uh, but also for the weapon industry. And it fits in the whole uh, world uh, tech. Uh, all companies, they're searching for resources. It's the fight, it's the world war for, for resources. So you see it in, from Russia and in Arab countries, uh, the oil with this financial crisis that people buy lands where are minerals. And uh, I think the Polish government and the Polish people are victim of this, this political fight because it's companies with they are stronger than, than the government. We are very much afraid because they have many weapons. We know from Polskal that they really are uh, giving money to, to, to politicians and uh, we know they have many weapons we even don't know. They have relations we don't know. So, so it's very difficult to, to fight these plants and we'll see but this is the first step.